Candlestick Park, a stadium that has housed numerous championship teams, plays host for this matchup between the Seattle Seahawks and the San Francisco 49ers. Phil, so much of the talk leading into this matchup has been about the passing game. But a big factor might be which team can run the football. What do you see here today? Well, even though we haven't talked a lot about these running backs because they're not the marquee guys in the NFL, you know, the game is still this, Jim. It's about the most physical team wins. And so saying all that you said, and I'm saying the one that's the most physical out here today is going to win the game. Lines up here. Counter run here. Running to his right. Bill, you always talk about establishing the run early. And they do it with that one big play. Well, they sure did. This offensive line and that play, they put a whipping on the defensive linemen and linebackers that time. And a good job by the running back taking advantage of it. First down here after the run. Frank Gore gets it here. Touchdown, San Francisco. you got to have good vision to be a good running back in the NFL, and that vision means following the right guys. The running back does it, leads to a touchdown run. Add the extra point, the kick is good. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. Just past the 20, we'll mark it at the 22-yard line. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. The give has got room. Good job on the ground there by Lynch. Well, when you try to tackle this guy, his legs are the size of a refrigerator, so hard to wrap him up. That's why he picked up the big game. The Seahawks will approach this play from out of the pistol. Staying with the running game on first down. Got a big lane. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. After the long game, let's see what they do here. They'll stay on the ground on first down. down here escaping the pressure power surge for six touchdown in today's game you know Jim you always have to alert in situations when the quarterback drops back to pass you got to think he might be able to run out of the pocket in that time the defense not alert for it nobody's there and he scrambles in for a touchdown extra point is good Seahawks ready here for the kickoff he thinks twice about returning this one and signals fair catch
First down coming up. Michael James gets the carry. They bring him to the turf. Running backs, they love counter runs. They know what a defense has been over pursuing, so they make that fake one way, and when they cut it back, there's usually a great running lane there. Brandon Browner with the interception. And he's brought to the ground. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. It's first down as they head to the line. The handoff, running behind the tackle. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Second down following the run. Tossing it to the running back. He's got some daylight. Bowman with the hit. That's an excellent job. Just get enough yardage to get the first down, move those chains, and keep this offense going. McCoy is a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. First and 10. And they go back to the ground. Games 19. Well, the long run that time, and there's a lot of reasons why they got that long run. But the, the biggest one, the good blocking up front, but what patience for the running back. He did not panic because it took a while for that running lane to develop. When it did, he saw it, he hit it, and he used his talents to get down the field for the big game. And he gains maybe three. Good job by the defense that time. Everybody's expecting a pass. They were ready for the run, and they stopped the offense for a short game in the red zone. Wide receivers are bunched up. Second and goal from the four. Talk in the foot. Touchdown. Good job that time by the offense, scoring that touchdown and putting them ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. Running into the kicker. Defense. The penalty is declined. That last play will hold up. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. He's brought down. Colin Kaepernick under center, first and 10. And they sack the quarterback. Well, that's the quarterback's fault. My gosh, the safety, that's who he is supposed to look at at all times when he's under center and when he drops back, he takes his eyes off of him. And what happens? Well, he gets sacked. Second down and 12, eyeing that left side. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. He wants to go deep. Able to get a step on the defender, and he makes the catch. It's just not done enough, I think, in the league anymore. Everybody's so careful. But look what can happen. You can have the perfect throw, the perfect catch, and a big play. Here's the first snap after the big play. Roxon with that hit, and the ball's going to fall incomplete. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Ohio! Ohio! The 49ers line up in the pistol offense. Now makes the move to the right. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block, and then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them? Intercepted! Throws out the arm. 
That wraps up the first quarter here in San Francisco. We'll be back in just a moment for the start of the second. The Seahawks still possess the football as we begin the second quarter. Takes lined up in the slot. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. They go ground here. Got the unstoppable. He's at the 50. The 40. That's a nice job blocking by the offensive line and a really good job by the running back. Seeing the proper hole, gets up in there and picks up big yards. Here they come back to the line after the 50-yard gainer on the previous play. and 10 on first down it's back to the ground game so many things you could do on first down and what do you come up you come up with that play that was just a bad play call the Seahawks will go with the pistol on this play second and 13 another carry here Searching for space to the right. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap. And they hold that run to a short game. Harvins lined up now as a slot receiver. Third down and ten. The defense gets a sack. This defense, they are definitely not faint of heart, are they, Jim? They will bring the pressure. Good blitz that time, and they take the quarterback down. field goals by these kickers in this league now they are strong and they can kick it from a long way out able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23 First down, LaMichael James, they're going to run it right. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running them. They're going to get him here for a sack. Nice job that time by the defense getting the sack. The blitz was well-timed. When it's well-timed, the offense doesn't have time to react, and they get a good sack. Third and 16. Unable to bring it in. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Niners come out in the pistol. They motion the receiver around to the other side. So that's not going to get it done here. And the offense is going to turn it over on downs. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. The Seahawks will use a timeout.
here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. and 10 quarterback quick toss to the outside he's brought to a halt good job by the offense getting the first down in the red zone now becomes tricky can you deceive the defense where you get a chance to get a score we've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half Set a fan. He breaks the plane. He breaks the plane. He's in for the touchdown. Well, this quarterback is not afraid to score on the goal line, that's for sure. Not afraid about taking a hit from one of those big, mean defensive players. He runs a quarterback sneak and gets a touchdown. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. Their catch signal. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. Crabtree's in the slot. They'll go ground, heading right to the 25. When you talk about counter runs, what we just saw that time, the defense thinks the play's going one way, then a pulling guard or tackle comes around and catches a defensive lineman off guard and makes a good block. Trying to make something happen, working that left side. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. Quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Brandon Browner with the interception. In on the stop. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. They come out in the dime package. He gets to toss. The Seahawks get a first down. You know, when the linebackers, when they see that the offensive formation is shifted to one side, well, as a linebacker, you've got to play to that strong side and try to get up there and stop the run. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Fake, challenging the defense. Fakes the catch. Touchdown. You know, if you're a defensive player and you're covering a receiver down here on first and goal, you don't have to cover that much area. That's a terrible job by the defense giving up that touchdown pass. The Seahawks lined up now for the point after. He made it. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. And they crash into him, ending the return at the 20 yard line.
Flex round! Flex round! Flex round! Flex round! Flex round! Baldwin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. Down the field, and he's intercepted. Muscles through the defender. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. Takes a receiver in the slot. First and ten. Throwing now to his left. He's in the clear. The ten. Going to take it home for the touchdown. What a terrible job by the defense. That time, nobody even covers the receiver. He is wide open down the field. And, hey, nice job by the quarterback going through his progression. He finds the open guy and gets a touchdown pass. The Seahawks now lined up for the extra point. Counted. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. And he begins his return. And the tackle's made right around the 32-yard line. Flex round! Flex round! Flex round! LaMichael James is in the backfield. First and ten, they hand it off to the running back. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Under pressure and incomplete. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime to Vernon Davis. Makes the catch deep down the middle of the field. Nothing like a receiver who can just put his head down and go after the football. That's what he did that time. Nice throw by the quarterback. Watch the receiver at the last second looks up and makes the catch. Let's see how they back up the big play here. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Stacked up at that point. What a terrible job by the quarterback. But nobody's open. Tries to force the pass and look. What's it turn into? An interception. <laughs> Offense lines up here. Almost picked off. That's not good timing between the receiver and the quarterback. The quarterback that time throws it too quick and too far in front to the wide receiver on the slant route. Quarters formation here for the defense. They'll run it off the toss. Nice run that time by the running back. And if they keep running the football like this, it's just a matter of time before they fake it and throw that football over the top of the defense. They are being physical. The running back doing a good job, and they are making it happen in the running game today. And he is tackled down at the 38-yard line. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. That wraps up the first half here in the city by the bay. And we'll be back to San Francisco after the break for the start of the third quarter. We're back here now in this one where the Seahawks lead by 31. The receiving team has the recovery. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. 
Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. They come to the line, and it's first down. Second half gets rolling now as he takes the snap. Gets past the first wave. No stopping him now. That's a touchdown. Now you know why running backs get drafted high. Because these long running plays for touchdowns, that's what you want. That's what the NFL is about. Making big plays, and when you get them in the running game, that's like double good. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up a two-point conversion. Put an additional two points on the board as they convert. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. comes out in a 4-6 formation. Ohio, Ohio. Now first and 10. The throw to the left secures it with two hands. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. LaMichael James is in the backfield. First and 10. Trying to work that left side. It's incomplete. The defender had it for a moment, but could not pick it off cleanly. Ohio! The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. When you talk about the play-action pass game, it's really when you call it. You've got to be in a situation where the defense is thinking run, and when they are, do you have the courage, or I should say the smarts, to fake the run and throw the football. Good call that time by the offense. Let's see what they do on first down, following that huge play. To the right side. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back. They need to make a big play here. Ohio! Ohio! Watch the blitz! Watch the blitz! Second down coming up. James taking the handoff. Five, maybe six out of that. It's getting harder and harder in the NFL to score when you're this close to the goal line. So what will the offense do? They, they better be creative. That's all I know. They tackle him for a loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second and goal from the six. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. Good job that time, Jim, by the defender. He hit that receiver so hard, that football came flying out. That's why it's incomplete, the big hit by the defender. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Looking for an open. It's a touchdown. Gets pretty tight down in here when you got third and goal. Not a lot of room for receivers to work in, but the quarterback and receiver, they're on the same page. Good throw and catch. The 49ers lined up now for the point after. Got a touchdown, got the two-point conversion. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do, and you know what? Now, I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. 
they're not going to risk the big return. So here's the squib kick. Quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. He caught it. Touchdown. And they get one back. When you're behind in the football game, drive down and score. They did that. Now the next time when they get back out there, they got to do it again. Show some patience and drive it down the field. Lining up now for the two-point conversion. And he's going to pitch it here. So, puts down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. He executed the play perfectly, and he got in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. The odds falls on the ground, picking up the fumble, and now he's on the move. That's a timeout by the D. Always hustle on the kick teams and always be alert. That football came loose. What a job by the kicking team falling on it and getting that fumble. Ohio! Ohio! Oh, Michael James is in the backfield. He'll fire it out to the left. Well, even though they're down more than seven here, the offense down the red zone. It'll be good for them for the rest of this game, their confidence uh, for the offensive coach that they can punch this in for the touchdown. First and 10, and James is going to take the handoff now. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Offense lines up here. Looks to his left. Kaepernick gets it to Vernon Davis. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside that 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. This is third down. Hey, up the middle. Well, he gets tackled inside the five-yard line. That's the great thing. The bad thing is hard to score once you get inside the five-yard line in the NFL. Running back in motion here. It's a failed conversion, but you might as well look at it like a turnover. It's going back the other way. Well, it's a good thing that linebacker knocked that pass down because I don't think he could have caught it. So if he can't catch it, knock it down so nobody else can catch it. Setting up in the pistol on this play. First and 10, running back, gets it on the handoff. They go to the right side. And he's got the first down. Good job by the running back on that long run. It's one thing to have talent, but the first thing you need as a running back is vision. You have to pick the right running lane. That's what he did that time, able to get down the field and get that long game. First down here after the run. to the ground now on first down. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play and they stopped it. Lined up in the pistol formation. Second and 11. He gets it again on this drive. Wide to the left. And it's Patrick Willis who makes the tackle. An off-tackle run. It's a staple of all offenses in the NFL. And a general rule is you run off the right tackle because he is the power tackle where the left tackle is the pass blocker. Offense lines up here. Third and six. Wasting no time. Here's the toss to the outside. Well, that time, the defense gets the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Listen, I blame this one on the quarterback. When you see the defense in a situation like that, you must change the play. Don't waste one in the NFL. You don't get enough chances as it is, 
and that one lost yards. John Ryan will be called on to send this one down the field. Crabtree's lined up in the slot. He sends the halfback in motion. First down and 10. Looking to the right side and throwing. Wide open for the catch. That'll close the gap. Got to take advantage of situations like this. Not often in the NFL do you get somebody this wide open. Good job by the receiver. Nice job by the quarterback. Seeing him. And what do you get? An easy touchdown pass. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history. And they'll go from two yards out. They get it across and secure two extra points. They line up here for the onside kick. They want that football back. There's a yellow marker down on the field. Sloppy mistake here. That kick travels out of bounds. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Tosses it to the running back. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Fifteen minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. The Seahawks have the football as the fourth quarter gets started. It's now second down. The final quarter begins with this snap. I don't know what the quarterback was looking at. He had to know the defense was blitzing that time. Doesn't make a quick enough decision, and the defense gets there and gets the sack. Tate's lined up now as a slot receiver. Here's the running play. Off tackle. Breaks on his way. The 20. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they come up with a play that fools the defense. Third and 21, and we ran for a first down. First down, first down, first down. Omaha, the offense Omaha. back to the line of scrimmage. After Omaha, going for Omaha. more than 40 yards on the previous Ohio, play. Omaha, 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 Omaha. Dropping back three. Almost intercepted. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Easy, easy. 
quarterback coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Ball is out. Well, the defense always says, let's call some fumbles. Then when you cause it and you're not able to recover it, that is one emotional letdown. You know what's going to happen. We're going to let you make it close. And what's happening is going to take me to the Tate's in the slot. Third and 11. Handoff to the pack. Trying the right side. Touchdown, Seahawks. This offense, even though they had the lead, they do not sit on it. They are aggressive. They take risk. And what a day. Lining up now for the two. Up the middle. You talk about momentum. That turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. down here. Trying to get it outside before the defense is set. When you see long runs like that by a running back, a lot of things have to happen. Of course he has good vision and he has talent, but how about those blocks down the field, those blocks in the secondary, that's what creates long runs. Leaning on that running attack again here on first down. All is out. You just got here a He's out of bounds. You got to protect the football on the offensive side. When you don't protect it, the way these defensive players can run, you're going to get in trouble, and that time it results in a fumble. Tate's going to get set in the slot for the snap. First and ten. The give to the running back. Breaks away. They break through. Tackle him behind the line. So many things you could do on first down. And what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. He'll take the snap about midway through the fourth. They knocked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Well, these plays do look ugly, but they don't work. It's it's second down, and you run the running play, hoping to pick up a few yards to make third down easier. But when you lose yards like this, third long, tough to do. The Seahawks lined up in the pistol. Third and 20. They give it to the back, and he's running off tackle. So three and out. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. They're set to punt it away now. Two-minute warning. John Ryan will be called on to send this one down the field. Here's the snap back, and it's a fake. They're running a fake. Oh, almost caught. That is so tough to do, to be that close to these wide receivers and able to knock the pass down without getting a penalty. Good job. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. 
Davis there with the sure hands to pull in the rocket pass. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. First and goal. Throws the pass. And he's almost intercepted. Now that pass is incomplete, Jim, but that's just a terrible job by the quarterback. When they're running the slant route, just throw it right at their stomach. That's second down coming up. it into his body. If I'm on the defense and the offense is this close to scoring, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I am sending everybody. I am going to gamble that it is. Touchdown as we near the end of this one. Well, the defense knew that they were probably going to see a run here in third and goal. And what do they do? They don't, it doesn't matter. They still get blown off the line of scrimmage by the offensive line. Nice job. Get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. And so they convert it here on the two-point try. Kicker set for the kickoff. Here's the kick, and this one's just a little squib kick. He is brought down at the 49-yard line. down on the way. Here's the handoff, running off tackle. Going to be a tackle for a loss. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Baldwin's a receiver in the slot. Slashes to the left side. A foot race to the end zone. No stopping him. Taking it all the way home for the touchdown. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up a two-point conversion. Put an additional two points on the board as they convert. The kicking team now getting set here for what looks like an onside kick. That kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, they're teaching all these guys in the NFL, don't hit high. And we might be seeing more of this, lower body injuries because of the defensive players. They're learning. Hit them lower. Won't get any flags thrown that way. First and ten. That pass was hurried. Nice job that time by the defense. Pressure on the quarterback. He does not have time to find an open guy, and it results in an incompletion. Colin Kaepernick under center. Second and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Quarterback was under a lot of duress on that pass, and alas, it's incomplete. All right, listen, I know he was under duress, but you got to hit these type of throws in the NFL. You're not always going to get perfect protection. That's not a good job by the quarterback. Third and ten. Throws to the right. James got it. On touchdown. Al has a terrific job getting that touchdown there. And what you've done, you've closed the gap. Keep chipping away at that lead. Make the opponent keep playing. See if he gets tight. If he gets tight. Interception. Would have taken the one-point gimme. They went for the two, and they are turned away. The receiving ball was out. They pick up the loose ball, and here they go. What a job by the kicking team. They hustle down the field, they make the big hit, and they recover the fumble. And Crabtree's lined up in the slot. The running back 
goes in motion. First and 10, challenging the defenders to the right side. Gain of 17. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. He's intercepted. That brings the play to an end. Well, nowadays, your linebackers, they got to be able to do everything. they got to be big enough to get in there and stop the run, and also athletic enough to be able to get in position and make an interception. Good job by the linebacker. Tate's lined up now as a slot receiver. First and 10, handoff. Now slashing to the right side, looking for room. Well, even though they have a lead here, it's late in the fourth quarter, still got to be unpredictable. Keep the defense on edge. As I always say, make the defense react and not attack. So make them guess what plays you're going to run. Second down and seven. Second down here after that run play. Fights through that hit. Well, when you give up a running play that that's long, you got to say this to the defense. You did not hustle enough. If you are hustling, when that running back makes that secondary move, you got to be there to make the tackle. Swarm the football, that's how you stop long runs. First and 10, right back to him one more time. Picks up about eight. What a good job by the defensive player there, just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground. Second down and two to go after the running play. Going off tackle here. Reed is there and makes the play. The Seahawks are going to use one of the two timeouts they have remaining. One more play and it's in the books. First and ten. Robinson's got it on the toss. That's going to do it here in this one. What a shootout it was, and what a great way to finish off the game.